Hello everyone, in this simple tutorial we are going to be creating a simple project. We are going to be working with the Advice Leap API. So let's say you have a certain part on your website or portion and you want to display a random advice to the user. So this, this API is good for that. So you can just display random advice to the user when they land on your page. It can be on a click event. On window load so stuff like that I'm going to be showing you all that in this tutorial so let's say we get this URL the HTTP method is get so when we visit that URL and they will show us a slip object having the ID and the advice so every time we refresh or reload this page we get a random advice so stuff like that now we want let's say you have a certain portion on your, web, on your website and you want to display to the user it's what I'm going to be showing you in this simple tutorial so I have some simple markup here we have a div a parent div with a class of container and it's housing these children elements so we have the div with the ID of results this way we are going to be displaying the advice and also we have a certain a, not a certain a simple button here with the ID of get data and the class of BTN so I use the class for styling this button and lastly before the body crossing tag we have our script tag that links to the app.js file where we are going to be writing our javascript fetch this advice and display it on the page very very simple so for the css i already i've already written it so i don't want to make this tutorial too long we aren't i want us to focus on javascript i will leave it to you guys on the github repo very very simple now let us go to our javascript and there are two elements that I want us to target. We want I want us to target the div with the ID of results and this button using this ID of get data. So I'm going to write const res div so short for result div. So I just want to make it obvious. So we are targeting this. It's where we are going to be getting the results. So I've called it res div short for result div. And I'm going to assign it to document dot query selector so you are free to use get element by id so query selector and i want to target that id so this will be simple for you guys who have been using jquery so we can target the element using the hash or pound symbol then let us target that button of get data so the button with this id of get data i'm going to say res btn so the result button which will be getting for us the results when we click it and we assign it to document dot query selector selector and it's having the id of get data very very simple so we now have access to those two elements this div with the id of results and the button with the id of get data very very simple now what i'm going to do is first create the fetch api request let us use fetch to get the data from this api so fetch it takes in the URL and this is the URL that we want to take in so we paste the URL there and this returns back a promise so we shall say dot then and it will be giving us the response I'm going to be using arrow functions and then we are going to return back the response dot json so as you saw in the browser here, this API is returning back JSON data. Very, very simple. 
Now, doing this, we won't be having access to this data. So right now, what this one does, it returns back again a promise. So we have the promise results, but we don't have access to it. And let me let me console.log here so that you understand what I'm talking about. Let me save this. Right click on the page, inspect. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. So console. So right now, they are returned back a promise. And this is the promise result. It's an object. As you can see, the promise state is fulfilled. But right now, the promise result is an object which we don't have access to it. So this slip object. Then to do that, again, we are going to add on another dot then. And here, we can write, make up any word we want, so long as we use it in the following code. We can, you usually see data here, which is obvious, you are getting back the data, but I'm going to call it advice data. So since we are getting advice from the URL, as you can see, they return back a promise, and we are having the promise results, result, which is an object of sleep. So we want to get access to it. Let me remove this console. Use the arrow function. Now we have access to that object. We can do console. So this word is something that I've made up. You can call it anything you want, so long as you use it in the following code. So console.log, and we say advise data. Control S to save, and you see we shall have the sleep object. Very, very simple. So this is what the API returns. So the sleep object having the ID and the advice that we want. Very, very simple. Now, lastly, we can add on the catch method in case we bump into an error. We can easily log out the error into the console. So, error. So, this is just a fallback in case you will run into an error. We shall cache it and display it in the console. So, right now we have access to the sleep object, this data. So, as you can see inside, we have the ID and the ad device. So, we are going to, I'm going to store this in a variable. So const, and I'm going to call it the advice object. And I'm going to assign it to advice dot. Then as you saw, it's sleep. So we say advice dot sleep. Let me console this. And we say advice obj, so short for object, console.log, and we shall have this. So right now we have access to this sleep object. Remember, this is something that we made up. You can call it data, so long as here you also use data.sleep. So since we have access to that, then it's going to be very, very simple. I'm going to do res div dot inner html inner html and i'm going to use these template strings so the two back ticks you can find these on top of the tab keys on your keyboard so those two when you press there they will be giving you those back tips back ticks non tips so here we can write our html the p paragraph and inside here we use the dollar sign symbol and two curly brackets to have access to this advice object then dot then the advice is what we want so remember what this we created this variable and we assigned it to advice so advice data dot sleep which is the object and we want to enter that object and access this 
advice keyword stuff like that then let us save and see if we have that we should get a paragraph here very good so right now what we are doing we are injecting a paragraph inside this div with the id of results remember we accessed it here so const res div and we are targeting that element with the id of results and what we are doing here we are getting is inner html and inserting a paragraph having the advice from the api very very simple so every time i reload this page we shall be getting a brand new advice so very very simple now what i want to do is i want even when the user clicks on this button they have access or they can randomly get some advice from the server so we are going to do like this we are going to make this code very very simple we are going to say we are going to first create a function and we say get advice and i'm going to call it this fetch api request and i put it inside that function right now we shall not have anything on the page right then what we are going to do we want to when the page loads so window on load when the window loads we want to call a function called get advice very very simple then also when the user clicks on this res btn we want to call that function so res btn dot add event listener and the event is a click so when the user clicks on that button we are going to be we are going to be calling this callback function and that will be get advice it's very simple so as you can see so as you can see now we are calling this function so it's flexible so we can even add on certain elements or more buttons so what we are doing when the user clicks on this button still we are going to be calling this get advice function so right now if i click we are going to be getting another random advice from the api here so if i click it again it gets a random advice from the server so guys this is a simple code that you have to write in order to put this advice on your website as you can see it has a lot right now we are getting a random advice then we can also get advice by id in case one a user to put in a, set, a random number and they will be getting back the advice so right now if i to copy this where there is sleep id i'll just put let's say 25 and they will give me the advice at the id of 25 if i put like 78 they will give me that advice at 78 so that is advice by id then there is also searching advice when a user wants certain advice let's say about money so instead of this query parameter you just put in money and it will bring advice about money let's say what let's say all <laughs> and they will bring all the advice having that keyword of all so very very simple but for the sake of this tutorial i don't want to make it sophisticated let us just get back the advice random advice from the server and it's what we have done here very very simple so guys if this tutorial was useful to you please subscribe to the channel and i'll always see you in the next tutorial peace